So anyway, we went off on a tangent there about sex. Um, but have more of it, basically. It's what we're trying to say. <laughs> oh. Better. Oh, I love you today. Hi guys, hello, good day to you all. Is that really Australian? Good day to you all. We're not in Australia. Yeah, but so. I did. But basically, I didn't want to say good morning because it might be uploaded at night. That's thoughtful. So it's like good day to you. Like, have you had a good? Hi guys, <laughs> welcome to my channel, The Rock Cetera. Featured on my channel today is the wonderful Miss Rosalind Dix, who has over a quarter of a million subscribers, um, and overshadows my channel somewhat. So it's nice to be doing collaborations with YouTubes who are a bit. I'm not worthy. I'm not. I'm just kidding. I brought her channel <laughs> because a rose with no rosy. It's quieter. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing a f different kind of video. Obviously, I do like my fashion videos. I do like my beauty videos. But today we're going to be doing a video about Alopecia UK. So I'm wearing a top. Just in case you can't see this, I'll stand up, but it probably won't be a focus. Sorry for you. It says, I have alopecia because I have alopecia. So, Rose, do you want to show your top? Yep. Mine says, I love someone with alopecia. Because she loves someone with alopecia. That would be me. That would be me. I told people on like Instagram and Twitter and Tumblr um, before I went to New York, so a couple of weeks ago, now that I have alopecia and so therefore I want to raise money for Alopecia UK um, so I'm going to be explaining a bit about that and since then lots of people have sent me questions saying do you wear a wig? Um, did you go entirely bald? What's your story? And this is a video um, telling you all the facts, all the information and if you listen to it all and think you want to donate um, to my fundraiser for Alopecia UK then go ahead and do that. Rose was actually there the day I discovered I had alopecia. I discovered it! I'm taking credit She back. actually I realized it. it before I did. I saw it! Alopecia is a disease, it's an autoimmune disease. So basically, the whole reason you have the side effect of hair loss is because your immune system is attacking itself. It just randomly attacks itself and some people lose bits of the hair, some people lose all their hair, some people lose all body hair, arm hair, some people lose their nails. And I'm trying to boost my immune system at the moment, but I'm currently like, should I even boost it? Because then it's just stronger to attack itself. <gasps> but then it can fight itself. What a but mind it, fuck. I know. I'm always like, should I even bother making my immune system better? Because if it's better, surely it'll be stronger to attack itself. But then it's better to... Sorry, I, I will let you talk. Hey, it's fine, it's your channel. I just... It's fine. <laughs> Proceed. Sorry. Right. <gasps> right. <Rose. laughs> I'll take over. Go Sorry. on then. You take over. A lot of people have not realised or did not realise that Rosie suffered from alopecia, which is fine. She kept a secret for you about... Kept, excuse me, this is my time. Okay. She kept a secret for about, I'd say, a year and a half, mm -hmm. right? Almost two years. So, this is what happened the day that Rosie and I found out that she had alopecia. She was sitting in the kitchen, I was making her a cup of tea. She was sat in the armchair, so I was obviously standing, so I was above her. Um, I put my head down texting. You put your head down texting and I saw something shiny. I was like, shiny! And it turned out to be your ball dome. So and I was like, so my first part. A coin! But it wasn't! Hold on. Can you keep that off my channel, please? No. <laughs> it's not good, is it? It's not, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. So, it's not good. I see this shiny glint, and at first I thought it was flint or something, or some kind of like, you know, precious metal, but it turned out to be Rosie's bare naked bald dome. So, I didn't know. <laughs> Excuse me, soak me with your saliva. I didn't know how to tell Rosie that I knew immediately when I saw it that it was alopecia. See, alopecia usually affects this, the top of your, at first anyway, the mm. top of your head in perfect circles. It's completely, completely bald, completely bald, bald, and it's in a perfect perfect round circle. Like not a crop circle! I was just going, can you just go, we'll have to start that again because I wanted to say crop circle. Like a... No, 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 just say what you're going to say again. You know all this is going to go in. No, I wanted to say not unlike a crop circle. Okay, okay. You have to beat me to it, my okay. Not unlike... Over to you. No, I was going <laughs> about that 
that big, a okay. Well, it doesn't look that big actually, but then when put it on the top of your head, which is surrounded by hair, and look down, and actually, and it's bare like pink skin, yeah. and actually, it's quite terrifyingly huge. And what's scary is you literally had no idea it was there, and it happened overnight. Not a single hair on this patch. I hadn't even looked in the mirror. Like we'd got up and we'd chatted in the bedroom, and I'd been on the laptop and stuff, and then we went downstairs to make food. It may have even been like lunch, like later. I think I've been doing my dissertation. Mm -hmm. You came round because we and didn't I, live together. I then. caught sight of it, and this is exactly how I broke the news to you. <laughs> you see, I'm going to tell you something now. No, let me tell you. I, no, you didn't even say that. I'll tell you what you said. I was I really good. I, I can really remember. Good. You went, Rosie, and I was like, yeah. And you were like, you've got a bald patch on the top of your head. And I just went, no, I haven't. I know. And you were like, yeah, you have. And I was like, no, I haven't. I was there with you at the doctor's. It happened like this. You said, hi, I've um, I've recently found like a ball patch on my head and I, I, I think it might be alopecia. And you went, yeah, it's alopecia. You might lose all of your hair. You might not. What he actually said to me was... <laughs> <laughs> he was like, um, X-Men alopecia are related um, because they're both sort of faulty immune systems and similar things. So he was like, so it's very likely that you're going to lose all of it. And he said, how it will happen is you start off with bowl patches and then you'll get, they'll get bigger or you'll get more and more closer together all over your head. And then eventually you'll lose all of your hair. It's like Independence Day, isn't it? When the red, big round ships go over every city and they all join together at the end. Oh yeah. I like your analogy. Is that what is that, is that what is that what Well, they were over every state. It's basically Jeff Goldblum, so. Yeah, Jeff Goldblum. So similar. Yeah. yeah. So I was going through a very stressful period in my life. Anyway, at that time, um, I just had a lot of pressure on me from a lot of different situations at that time. Why are you pulling a face? Hang on. Why are you pulling a face? I'm a woman, I take everything personally. I'm not talking about Rose, I'm talking about things like work, <laughs> university, studies, oh, friendships, work. everything in my life. Oh, friendships. Excuse me, I've got itchy head. Ooh, oh, I've got itchy head. Can't well, hair my foil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. So, people are always tweeting me like, you're really ill, you get sick all the time. It's like, yeah, I have an immune, also immune disease, like. That's your X Factor sub story. I know. I have baldy locks, come on. And they put me on a waiting list for therapy. But it's gonna be a while and my mum was like well my best friend happens to be a therapist and she's actually already given therapy to three people with alopecia or maybe I was the third so maybe she'd already done seen two people so I toddled off to go see my therapist safe with Sam and after a while you used to come in because I felt comfortable with you then being in my therapy sessions but I started off just going on my own I think didn't I because it was my mum's friend I was really, really scared about going to see a therapist because I thought I'd go in and just be like, have to talk and talk and talk and have someone listen to me. And I didn't want that. I wanted someone just to tell me it would be all right. She lowered my stress. As soon as she lowered my stress, my, and I definitely credit her to lowering my stress, my bowl patches got smaller and smaller and smaller and uh, my hair started eventually regrowing. Rose and I helped set her up with a tumbler to answer questions and she now has a registered charity which is Safe With Sam. It's called Safe With Sam, you can Google it. She's a registered charity, she has people helping her now. She helps lots and lots and lots of people and she will answer your questions for free on Tumblr. What am I doing for Alopecia UK to raise money? So I didn't want to shave my head because why should I? I've already got ball patches, it's taken me about years, years to grow this. I am gonna go on one month's shaving ban. I've set up a site where you can donate on justgiving.com. My target was 2000, I've raised, I think 800. Yeah, I'm really grateful that you got me through that period of time because if I didn't have my mum and safe with Sam and if I didn't have you, um, I like, what would I have done if I was a single girl who was started going bald? What would I have done? Do you think I'd have gone out on the pool? You no? would text me, I would have been at home still living with my mum and dad, probably a little fatter than I am now, and I would have come running. Bald or not bald. So we're meant to be together. So I will go on a shaving ban for a month. I want to give to alopecia because it's close to my heart and then soon we're gonna do some work with Peter. Cool. So yeah. That was a sigh of, I'm so content with my partner. She's been with me through thick and thin and wasn't it just thin? Thick and thin and not just talking about the hair or the waistline. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah.